Hey guys, welcome back. This video is going to be all about my experiences during my first clinical rotation. Clinical started back in October and we just finished last week. For the first five to six weeks of the semester, we had a class called Clinical Prep, where we learned all about what would be expected of us as students during our day at clinical. Stuff like restocking the linens and gel bottles. We also learned a lot about patient care and what to do in certain situations like if a patient refuses an exam, or if we're asked to perform an exam that we haven't yet learned in school. We got to hear from some graduates from our program who now work at our clinical sites. We also got to hear from some of these students from the senior class, and we could ask them questions about our specific clinical placements. So overall, once we got closer to the first day of clinical, we were all pretty well prepared, but it was still a little scary, the idea of going to a real hospital or outpatient center and to be scanning real patients who potentially have something going on with them or are in a lot of pain. Going into clinical, we had learned how to scan the aorta, the liver, and we had just started gallbladder. So we still had a lot to learn. We had pancreas, kidneys, bladder, and spleen left for this semester. But in the real world, an ultrasound order isn't just for one organ. It's for something like right upper quadrant or complete abdomen, so it's a group of organs together, which meant that we would be asked to do scans on organs that we haven't yet learned. So I got placed at a hospital, which was luckily really close to where I live, and at first I was pretty intimidated, but I ended up absolutely loving it there. And I felt pretty comfortable there by the end of the rotation. The clinical instructors were all really nice, and they taught me so much. I went to clinical two days a week for eight hours each day, and we saw anywhere from seven to 15 patients a day. For the first two weeks, all I did was observe. I got to learn my way around the hospital, where the ER, the ICU, and radiology are. I also learned where to get certain things from, like extra linens or washcloths, gel bottles, warm blankets, and water for the patients. There weren't a lot of transporters at my hospital, unfortunately, so I was the one sent to go bring the inpatients over to radiology on the stretcher, and learning how to maneuver a stretcher is not the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> Along with moving patients around the hospital, I had to learn what to do with IV bags, heart rate and blood pressure monitors, as well as oxygen tanks. The first time I encountered any of these things, I would just ask a nurse for help and watch her very carefully so that next time I would know what to do. During a scan, I would watch my CIs very carefully to watch how they use the machine, where they put the transducer on the patient, and how they interact with their patients. And the first thing I noticed was that it blew my mind how fast they go. They're just pushing buttons, not even looking. They take five or six images while the patient holds in a single breath. They complete a whole exam in the time it takes me to do one organ, which is normal for my skill level, but it was still so crazy to watch at first. In school, we're always trying to get textbook perfect images if possible, but at clinical, they don't really care about that. They're trying to get diagnostic images and they don't care whether it's pretty or not. So that was something that definitely took me a while to get used to, but once I did, I was able to get through the scans a lot more quickly. So I started off back scanning, which is basically scanning for five minutes or less at the beginning or end of an exam. It's done under direct supervision, and it's just so that I can get a feel for things. A little while later, once my CIs got to know my scanning a little bit better, they would let me actually perform parts of the exam. So I would get about 10 to 15 minutes, I'd usually get through an organ or two with them helping me out. The last couple of weeks, I was completing exams myself. The CIs would give me about 20 to 30 minutes to start an exam and get as far through it as I could. Then they would come in the room and review my images and then finish up. Even if I was having a really hard time, I would always make sure to take some images. That way, when the CIs come in, they'd be able to give me tips on how to improve. And a lot of times, they would even keep a majority of my images to submit in the study to the radiologist, which was such a good feeling. At my site, they did a lot of vascular exams, which are of the veins or arteries in the arms and legs. That's something that we won't actually learn in school until the summer semester, but I got to learn it a little bit early because I had this opportunity to see so many of them. And I even got to scan a couple myself. Some other exams that I got to see for the first time were pelvic, transvaginal, scrotum, carotid, and pediatric. I got to help scan a one-day-old baby's kidney. Some other cool things I got to experience were going to the OR a couple times, once for a DNC and the other times for biopsies, which are procedures done under ultrasound guidance. I also got to go with my CI to the ER for an OB trauma. The patient was six months pregnant and she had been in a car accident. So my CI was there just to make sure that the baby was okay. 
It was crazy. There were a lot of people in the room. It was very cool to get to watch, and luckily mom and baby were both okay. They also do procedures called paracentesis and thoracentesis, which are done to drain excessive fluid in the abdomen or around the lungs. This procedure is done by the radiologist with ultrasound guidance. They start off by cleaning the area where they're going to make the incision, then they inject lidocaine to numb the area, then they make the incision and insert a catheter, which is hooked up to a suction device. The ultrasound technician monitors the suction device and switches out the liter canisters once they fill up. For most of our patients, we would remove one to five liters of fluid, and some of it got sent off to pathology. For these procedures, sterile technique must be used, so it was also really interesting to get to watch my CIs set up the sterile field, lay everything out for the doctor, and maintain the sterile field the whole time. It was also a much different experience scanning real patients versus my classmates because most of the people in the hospital actually had something going on. I got to see a lot of blood clots in the legs, cysts in the liver, kidneys, and ovaries, some calcifications usually in the kidneys, and even some solid masses as well as gallstones. When my CIs would finish up an exam, they would write their report and then let me read over it. That way I would know exactly what they saw and I would get familiar with the terminology used to describe certain abnormalities since sonographers are not allowed to diagnose. I would always introduce myself to patients as a student, and every single patient was so nice. I never had anybody tell me they didn't want me to scan them because I was a student. Every time I thanked someone for letting me scan them, they would thank me back for helping them out. And it was such a great feeling knowing that I'm making a difference to people. So that was everything about my first clinical rotation. It was definitely the best part of the semester and I'm so excited to start back at a new hospital in January. If you guys have any questions specifically about my experience at clinical, let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!